Hey, this is Tim. Today we're going to be doing a coolant flush. It is a 2012 Kia Rio. 2012 Kia Rio. It's got the GDI, of course. I think this is the uh, 1.6. Anyway, we're gonna change the cooling on it. We're gonna do an oil change too, but that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do uh, drain the coolant and how to fill it up. Make sure we don't get no air in it and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Okay, you're gonna to want to take this underpan off. This makes it easier. You're gonna have 10 millimeters there, 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 and they will be one at the top there. Let's pull this shroud off. Just makes things easier. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second, and then we'll drain everything out. You can sneak your hands back here, but it's just easier to take it off. Okay, when you get it the bottom off, you're gonna have this little breather box. Undo your little 10 millimeter bolt right here next to it. That way you can kind of move it, because there's your uh, peacock right there. And uh, you wanna your little sneaky little pair of pliers in there it ain't that tight well mine wasn't i didn't drain it from there but uh you loosen take that bolt out you can loosen this up where you can get your hands about there without taking the whole thing off but see how much easier it is when you take this whole skirt off you can also inspect the car too if you're doing uh, other things it's just good to uh have that and now i'm gonna drain this let me get something to drain it in. okay you're gonna drain it like this this one looks like it's got mostly water in it. You kind of move your hand out of here. And just take it like this. I'll do mine all the way just about. I'm trying to get it started good. Okay, get all these buttoned up. And then we'll go up here and, and uh, fill it up with the coolant. I'll show you how to do that. Take your top hose, squeeze it slowly so you don't see any more bubbles. Okay, once you get it all filled up and everything make sure of course no leaks check your temperature and check your heat done at Tim's Auto. Thanks for watching. Yeah, come on.